Hi, Craig McBain here with a tip for people who have a Surface Pro or any other kind of Windows 10 computer that has a stylus and supports digital ink. You can sign things with digital ink and send them back and you can save yourself so much time. Like right here, Mary sent me a document that I'm supposed to sign in return. Now in the old days, I would have to print this out, sign it with a ballpoint pen, and then take it to a scanner or one of our copiers that would digitize it back into a PDF. And then I'd have to email it back to her or even worse, send it via mail. But here's what you can do now with digital ink. She, Mary, wants me to sign this and return it to her. So here's what we do. I'm going to just drag this down so I have a little desktop space. And I'm going to move the document that I'm supposed to sign over to the desktop. And then I'm going to right click. And I want to open it up uh, with, you can do this with either Drawboard, PDF, or Reader. Now, Reader is free in the Windows Store. Drawboard PDF, I got it for free, and sometimes you see it costs $9.95. And so you might want to investigate it because the additional features that you see in Drawboard might be worth it to you. But what I'm going to do can be done also in Reader. So I'm going to open it up with Drawboard. And here it is. I can just put my two fingers on and spread them out to zoom in, just like you would on iPad. And now I'm going to take my stylus and put my John Hancock right there. So I'm going to click the hamburger button, choose more, and then save and close. Now over here in Outlook, I can do reply and just drag this over to attach it to the email and send it. Now one thing I like to do is give it a double click from the email. It opens up in Acrobat just to make sure that my signature got saved. And there it is. So now I can click send. So there you go. In less than a minute or two you can do something that used to take a oh, half hour, whatever. Thanks for listening.